So now I'm going to have sort of an extended example of what outliers can do to the distribution of your data. So first of all, for describing data, I've talked about measures of central tendency. There is the mean, which is the average of a distribution. There is the median, which is the middle score of a distribution. And there is the mode, which is the most frequent score or scores within a distribution. I've also talked about measures of dispersion, namely variance and standard deviation, which measure out how spread out data is around the mean. Now what is an outlier? Imagine we have a sample data set like this. It's you know, mostly ones, twos, threes, and fours. And for that data set, I could find the mean by you know, adding up all the values and dividing by how many values I have, find a mean of 2.58. I could find the median by finding the middle values. In this case, there were two middle values. I took the average of those and got a median of 2.5. Or I can find the mode, which is two, because I have the most twos. So let me put those numbers up there. And now I'm going to calculate the standard deviation using the computational formula. So I do that. I do that to find the sum of all x squared and the sum of all x squared. And we know that n is 12, so I can just plug those numbers into the equation now and solve for standard deviation. You know, we end up finding that the variance is 1.17 and the standard deviation is the square root of that, which is 1.08. So now we have these four values. For this data set, we know the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. So now let's go back to the data set, but now let's add an outlier. In this case, I'll change the last four to a 400. Now let's see what happens when you try to calculate the mean. We calculate the new mean, and now it is much higher. It's 35.58. And we look at the median, and the median is still the same. It's still 2.5. And we look at the mode. The mode is still the same. The mode is still 2. So I have those things, and now we're going to calculate the standard deviation for this new data set. So we find the three things we need, the sum of all x squared, the sum of all x squared, and n. We plug those things in, and we find the standard deviation to be 114.74. So these are the four values, the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation of this data set, which includes the outlier. So without the outlier, and with the outlier. So the medians were about the same, and the mode were about the same. But with the outlier, the means were very different, and so were the standard deviations. So this is what might happen if you have an outlier, and that's why we remove them, or if we do have a lot of outliers, we don't use the mean as a measure of central tendency. We'll use something like the median or the mode. And that's it for this lecture. Just wanted to show you what happens when you have outliers.